Welcome back for another edition of Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul. Hey, how are you? It's been a while since I've talked to you since Thanksgiving. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving this year. Um, beside of COVID in 2020. Um, I'm doing alright. A little lakey due to the weather keeps going up and down. But the sun is out today and we can't... Got to be grateful for that. So, um, last week I got my uh, dog Finn. Uh, he's a pure blood uh, Pomeranian, and um, Melissa got it. Got him for me. Um, I don't know, a little over a year ago, a little more than a year ago. Um, I was. Since 2018, I've been ex experiencing real bad depression and uh, was hospitalized a little bit for it. Um, still struggle. Uh, I'm doing better, but it's going to be a long term, something that might be affecting me for the rest of my life. Um, so um, I have good days. I got bad days. Uh, Sometimes my actions is misclude as being a bad day, even though, or misleading, but uh, I do my best. Um, family has been a uh, great support for me. I had a, I got a great support group of friends that if I need something or talk to someone, um, they've been able to take time out of their busy schedule to listen. Um have coffee with me and kind of experience this share our experiences of what we're dealing with how we're dealing with it um so that always helps so i could help determine you know okay how am i going to deal with how i'm feeling um so mental health i've got to learn a little bit more about it um, I'll be, hmm, how can I put this? Um, Finn has been a, um, a great companion because he, he he's young, he's a young puppy and raising him keeps me on my toes. He's full of vinegar. I mean, he is just constantly, um, active. Uh, gets along with the other dogs pretty well. Um, he's always by my side. Um, there are... I've got him certified through the United Service Dog um, as a, an emotional support dog. I know there's some people in the community have a lot of... Uh, some people don't like the idea that people with mental health can get an emotional support dog certified where they can take them anywhere just like a service dog. Uh, a friend of mine who's going through depression um, is helping training a service dog. I got to hang out with him and his uh, female puppy. Um, she's a black lab. And I have a lot of respect for people with service dogs um i think they are yes they are expensive um melissa and i talked about possibly thinking about for my son will uh, through his epilepsy or i shouldn't say he's not diagnosed with epilepsy his seizures as well as being autistic um but i think Having a an emotional support dog is helpful. Now, some people I've heard had birds, cats, you know, lizards. Uh, I've heard wild stories regarding they try to get through them. But my understanding for what I read, and granted, I'm no expert. There's always more information out there that it seems like more and more people are, you know, their favorite choice is a dog being an emotional support. So I got Finn certified last week, got a temporary license and all that. Um, but I got a package today. 
as you can see, uh, hopefully, there you go, uh, from the United Service Dog out of uh, New Jersey. Uh, so let's see what they sent me today. Black, you guys, I'm sure you can see the animals on the uh, chair behind me. Ah, here we go. We have a here leash. Ah, here we go. Ah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Ah, excellent. As you can see, I got a certificate. Color version. I have a laminated card that I can carry with me. It's got his picture on it and his other information so that if I get questioned or pushed into the store, I can show him this certificate. And um, I can take him anywhere I want. So uh, they also sent me a leash. It also says, you know, emotional support animal so it's a nice lengthy leash oh yeah covers the beyond the width of my desk and the other part that I got that I wanted because I wanted more than with just a card because you walk in there with a dog on a leash someone's gonna stop you and say no you can't have a dog in here you show them the card sometimes they'll you know you don't want to always I don't feel like I, I need to be doing that or shouldn't be doing that. So I got a harness that he wears. Emotional support animal. It's Velcro. So once I have that on him, I get this, this red thing. That can wrap around his body, support his weight class, and then I could put these on there to show that when he walks around, that it says emotional support animal. So I, I suspect I'll have some people criticizing, well, that an emotional support animal shouldn't be allowed to have the same treatments as a service dog. Or a service animal, I should say. And I understand that. I understand their position. But if you know someone who's had a, you know, that suffer from depression, you kind of get a different perspective. Because this, you see this animal and you see how supportive and how lifting he does. Okay. Especially for me. All right, Finny, come here. Come here. All right. This is my buddy, Finn. Huh? Hmm? Yeah. I take good care of you, don't I? Huh? Now we can go anywhere. Yes, we can. Yeah. Ain't that lovely? Huh? Finn is um, has a very unique personality. There's times that he'll bark or yike, um, and it sounds like he's talk trying to say a word. That he talks to me um, when I am down or feeling down. Are feeling that I'm having one of my anxiety issues uh, attacks coming, brewing up. Um, Finn kind of detects that, and he comes and finds me, and he wants me to hold him, and he wants some attention, and that helps. It really does. Um, yeah, yeah. So, hey. Can you say hi? Huh? Look, 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 look. Can you say hi? Huh? Huh? Look on the camera. Up, up. 
There you go. All right, Dad. You don't want that. You don't want that. Because as you can see behind my shoulder here, there are other animals. They are sitting here like, uh, what about me? What about me? What about me? All right, Peanut, come here. Get a turn. Just a minute. This is Melissa's dog. This is Peanut. He's the first one in the bunch. He's about seven years old. Weighs approximately four to five pounds. He's the biggest warrior. Uh, he's um, being full-blooded Chihuahua. He is uh, overprotective with mommies around. I get up or get near to her, or he hears key phrases. Um, especially if I come up to her and try to kiss her, he's on the attack. Barks, yells, uh, trying to show who's boss, who's alpha. Um, he also the only one out of the group I have to worry about low sugars. Uh, but uh, overall, when I have him by myself, Melissa's not around, he doesn't give me any trouble. He actually minds me. So... Uh, look, can you say hi? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. All right. Bella, you're next. Uh, now, Peanut is the male. Emma's the female. They had seven puppies a while back. We kept the only female out of the group. And the only female also was the only dog that was pure black, pretty much. So this is Bella. <sighs> little baby, little runt. Um, I don't know. She does not, you know, you take her out in the backyard or she's in the car riding with us. She'll bark at everybody. I mean, you can't keep her quiet. She feels like everybody's out to get her so she's always on the attack uh her bark is louder than her bite i mean there's a nice dog um arthur next door i think he's a lab or lab mixed um and he you know she feels like she's gonna go attack him now arthur won't do anything to her unless bella gets too close to the family but, so when we have to go out to the car, or we're leaving, we're taking her, we have to carry her, or keep her on the leash and carry her through. Um, she is, um, can't be trusted. Come here, Emma. Come on, Emma, come on. No, you had your turn. Ugh, we're getting heavy. This is Emma. This is also my dog. <sighs> Emma is jealous of every female. Uh, there's times she feels like when she's not getting any attention, you know it. She also gets between me and Melissa. She'll get right here on my shoulder like this. And then she won't let me move her. Okay? Ah, I haven't cut the nails, girl. You cut my necklace. There you go. So, come on, get up there. There you go. So, this is Emma. In essence, she's a peanuts girl. Took a while for her. Uh, Emma, um, Emma was, was an older dog. Um, uh, uh, let see, Peanuts, seven years, so we got Emma, what, six years ago, something like that, I don't know, um, Emma's a good dog, anymore, do you know her getting older, she's in the car, she's got to be whining and crying, not to so that she can see out the front window or be in the front seat, she's whining and crying because she's not on my lap as I'm driving, and as a rule, I don't have any of the dogs um, when they ride with us in the car. 
um, on my lap when I'm driving. Um, I think it was, they hear Will coming home. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. Uh, any more, uh, her whining in the car just drives me nuts because you can't get her to stop. And, uh, that's like a kid, it's, it's, it's worse than a kid going, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? So, but that's, but she's a good dog. She watches things in the house. She can hear things. So, I wanted to share this with you. Um, I don't know if you know anybody else who has an emotional support dog. I know my wife's uncle has a uh, emotional support dog. Um, he just went with the uh, card, I guess. Uh, he takes her everywhere in the stores and stuff like that. I mean, she is adorable. I can't get near her because of the. Uh, she protects anything that goes against her master. She doesn't leave his sight. So. Um, he's the only one I know of that has certified his dog. Um, and I'm sure you all know somebody uh, of that or will, will know. Um, so, if you're interested in um, trying to, to certify your dog, it's a real simple. Fill out a few things um, on a, this particular website for the service animals. And you pay your fee, and then you select the options you want. And then they try to sell you other options, like a GPS collar and all that other stuff, depending how depth you want to go into it. But uh, I went with... Uh, this tier level two tier was a laminated card certificate and and these items here um and then they got a lot more other packages how depending how elaborate you want and i didn't think i needed that but you know everybody's different how they treat their animals so all right well it's Boy, is it beautiful outside. I think we're going to have to take a walk, don't we? Yeah. We're going to take a walk. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you, Like I said, I'm sorry. If you're interested in uh, trying to certify your animal, uh, leave a comment. And I will send you, um, I will send that detail directly to you. So, just let me know, uh. And I'll, I'll, I'll give you the link. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope your day is going well. Always uh, remember to stay uh, humble and kind. And uh, let's be careful out there. Take care. If you have enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest context. And check out the other great clips on Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul on the YouTube Network. Thank you.